So you've built a membership-based website, maybe an e-commerce website, maybe a website for selling your online courses, or maybe just a forum hosted on WordPress. Excellent choice because WordPress is great for all of these kinds of websites. However, there's one quirk in WordPress which really grinds my gears and unfortunately, there's not a way to fix it natively in WordPress. And I'm talking about the admin bar right here. Now, don't get me wrong, I really find the admin bar really useful, but I'm the administrator of the website, so I can use the admin bar to go like directly into the dashboard of the website, edit pages, make all sorts of changes directly. But I'm talking about the navigation or the value of the admin bar for the end user. I don't think it's very valuable because most people don't care, and if they care, they'll click around and they'll reach the back end of the site, which might not be useful to them, it might be confusing to them. And for a lot of the users, you don't want to reveal that you are using WordPress to host whatever website you're hosting. So if I had a website where users had to log in to consume any kind of content, the very first thing I would do is make sure that the end users don't see the admin bar. And if you want to do the same thing on your website, just watch this video because I'm going to show you exactly that, how to disable the admin bar for all users except administrators, that is you. Let's go. All right, welcome to the backend of my WordPress website. And let me explain how I've set things up to test out that admin bar is actually disabled for all users, but except for me as the administrator. So what I've done is logged into the administrator already and I've opened up a new tab where I can see the admin bar for me as the administrator, but I've created a new user as well and I've opened up and logged into uh, their account using an incognito window. So right here you can see not many things show up for the uh, end user or the subscriber, which is typical for any subscriber who's logged in, but the admin bar is still visible. So once we actually make all these changes, which I'm gonna sh show right now, we're gonna see and go to those tabs and verify if the admin bar is disabled or enabled for all the users that we intend and of course for administrators we intend that it should be enabled right here so now we can get in the process of actually doing the process which will disable the admin bar and for to do that we're going to use a plugin called wp code it's a completely free plugin it's available in the wordpress repository and it's a fantastic plugin let's install and activate the plugin first and i'll explain why we are using a plugin to do this task instead of maybe doing something manual to hide the admin bar all right, so go into the plugin section of your website, go to the add new section, and the page for adding new plugins will open up, and go to the search option and type in WP code. Wait for a couple of seconds, and you'll see WP code as the first plugin come up here. And as you can see, it has great ratings, it has a lot of installations, one over 1 million installations, that means a highly rated plugin, right? So let's install the plugin, it just takes a maybe a few seconds of your time. Once it's installed and activated, I'm gonna tell you why this plugin is so useful in not just hiding your admin bar, but are doing a lot of tasks, which might be a little more difficult for beginners, and it's also a safer way to do it, right? So the plugin is already installed, let's activate it, and now the plugin is activated, you see it right here, and you also see a menu entry right here. Now, before going into the menu entry and starting working on how to add, add or hide the admin bar, let me give you some context of what's happening so that you can understand why we are using this plugin in particular and why we're using a plugin in the first place. Now, technically, if you want to hide the admin bar for users on your site, you can have actually, or what you can do is find a code snippet somewhere. If you Google, you'll find a code snippet and you can place it somewhere on your WordPress website's installation files and that will also hide the admin bar. Right, but there's a lot of risks involved, or I'd say it's it's a more complicated process because beginners don't understand code. They'll use need to have or FTP access and do lots of nasty stuff, which might be confusing, intimidating for them. You might be uh, in that area as well. You might be a beginner and you don't want to mess with your theme files or WordPress files because the risk of messing up or making a mistake is very high. And the second problem is that even if you let's say you were successful in adding that piece of code, anytime there's an update to WordPress, the code changes will be wiped out. So you're back to square one. You'll have to repeat. The process so why take that hassle so instead anything you want to do code related if you want to add any kind of code to your website not just for admin admin or hiding the admin bar but for any kind of activities the best choice is to use a plugin that manages the code snippets on your website so you can add the code snippets enable it disable it and just see them what kind of code snippets you have enabled or added so that's easier to manage because this is not the only code snippet you might be adding to your website if your website is starting out in the future you might be adding marketing pixels like the facebook pixel maybe the google analytics code verifying with search console pinterest and tons of different ad managing plugins or whatever. Any kind of service you want to add to your WordPress website will require you to add a piece of code. And instead of messing with your WordPress installation, it's much safer to use a code management plugin or code snippet plugin. And this is exactly what WP Code does. That's why I recommend using WP Code. And I'm gonna sh show you one more, I say advanced benefit of using WP Code apart from the, all the benefits I just mentioned. So let's go to the code snippet section and you have code snippets and let's add a snippet first. So if I go to the add snippet option, what you will see here is this is the feature or this is the benefit I was talking about. 
Apart from just giving you the opportunity or the ability to add code snippets, WP Code team actually what it does is they have a collection of predefined, well-tested, battle-tested code snippets right here, which you can click and directly import on your website. Now, this is really powerful because there are a lot of things that you might not know are possible to do in WordPress with the help of a little bit of code, which you will find and discover right here. For example, add your custom code. Of course, you can add a custom snippet. Allow SVG files upload. You can add actually upload SVG files to WordPress. It's disabled for security, but you can enable it. Completely disable com uh, comments. That means disabling comments of on your entire website. Disable attachment pages. You might understand what that is. Disable automatic updates. If you have any kind of custom code, custom functionality built out, this is very useful because any automatic updates might break your website. Disable automatic update emails. If a lot of updates are happening, you're getting emails for everything. You can disable it. Disable the Gutenberg or the blog editor. Use the uh, custom or as user classic editor, disable the WP admin bar. This is what we are going to be using. And instead of discovering code elsewhere on a shady website, which where you don't trust them, you have the code snippet right here built in. And you have a lot of different, I'd say, uh, code snippets available to you that you can start using. These are just the most popular ones that are listed right here. But as you can see, you have a lot of different snippets that you can utilize very easily. So right now, since the intention of this video is to show you how to disable the admin bar, let's go here and you will click the use snippet button. And this will open up the snippet management plugin or uh, page and you'll have a lot of options right here. So let me explain what it is. First, you can name or rename this if you want, but uh, disable the admin bar is makes sense for me. Now you have the code preview. This is the actual code snippet which is going to be added to your website. And the benefit is you can actually edit it only if you understand what you're doing. Unless I do or if you don't, then I would not suggest that you touch it at all. You can also change the kind of code snippet if you understand what you're doing. You can add HTML text, JavaScript, PHP or a universal snippet. And then you have a lot of different options to add the, uh, I'd say, code snippet to your site. Right now, it's set to auto insert. That means the code snippet will automatically insert it. But let's say you want to add the code snippet to a certain page on your website. So you can use the short code option and just add the code snippet to certain pages of your website. This is a really, really powerful feature. But let's stick to auto insert for now. And you can also change where it shows up. So run everywhere, only the front end, back end, site wide, header, footer. You have lots of options. That means not only can you add the snippet, but you can customize how it actually works, where it works. This is a more powerful feature because even if let's say you understood the code piece, you understood where to paste this, uh, managing these conditions would be something that not in the scope of, I'd say any uh, general user of WordPress. You will need some developer support, but it's right here inside WP code, all done for you for free. So let's add this piece of code to our site. Let's update it. I made this code snippet active and then we'll test out how the functionality actually affects or this code snippet affects the functionality of our site. So I'm going to update this right now. Let's say the code snippet is updated. It's still inactive. So what you can do is go to code snippets right here and you'll see a lot of code snippets. A couple of them were already, I was testing them out. Disable the WP admin bar. It's actually disabled right now. So I'll enable this. And I'll refresh my website because sometimes you'll need to refresh your cache to see the changes go live. So let's go to the admin block first uh, right here. This was the administrator area. I'm logged in as the administrator. Let's refresh this and see what happens. And I'm going to do hard refresh. So the cache also is disabled. Now, you might be thinking, hey, why did the admin bar disappear for the admin area? Yes, I understand this is what is expected. I'll explain how this works and how you can uh, change the behavior so that the admin bar does not disappear for you as well. Let's also check the incognito window and I'll just refresh the page right here. And right now you can see the admin bar has disappeared for both the administrator and the end user. This is not what we want, but we can modify or you customize the behavior right inside WP code. So let's head back. Let's go to the code snippets options. And you might be thinking, hey, is this a bug or a feature? It's not a feature. It's a superpower. Let me explain how this works. So apart from the features I was already mentioning to you that you can do all this auto insert, there's another, let's say, really uh, nuclear power option right here inside WP, which will change how you use code snippets forever. And it's called this section right here, smart conditional logic. So if you enable this, what you can do is have the code snippet load on based on conditions that you set. I don't know if you understand the implications, but I definitely do. And this is really, really powerful for lots of activities. Right now, let's stick to the uh, core crux of this video, which is run this code snippet for, for administrators. Or in this case, we are trying to say for administrators, don't do this or don't run this code snippet, but for end users, run this code snippet. So you have the enable logic. The condition is show this code snippet for logged in users, but not administrators. Let's find out how we can create a condition where the administrators are actually excluded. So let's say hide this code snippet if add new group, hide this code snippet if 
user role is administrator. So right now what we are saying is the condition logic is enabled and the condition is that this code snippet which hides the admin bar, right, should not be run or this should be hidden if the user role is administrator. So we are disabling the functionality of this plugin or this snippet for administrators, administrators only. Now, this is just one condition I've added, but what you can do is daisy chain a lot of different conditions. If you add more conditions here, these will be added as and conditions. And if you click this, this will create a or condition. So you can chain and conditions and or conditions to make any kind of complex conditions that you want, depending on your use case. And as I, as I showed you, you have a lot of different options here. So hide or show based on logged in users, user role, page type, post type, referer, taxonomy type, taxonomy term, and page URL. You have a bunch of options. So you can customize the snippet behavior completely depending on how you want to do it. And this is, again, this is a really, really powerful feature. And if you are a pro user of WordPress, then you might already know how powerful this feature is. But right now, I'm not going to go into a lot of details right now. I'm going to just update this post right here, update this code snippet right here. We've changed the behavior. Let's make sure it's enabled. We'll go back to the incognito window. I'll hard refresh the page once again, and the admin bar does not show up. Let's go back to our WordPress website. Let's go to the administrator area where I'm logged in as the administrator, all right? So I'll just hard refresh the page once again, and the admin bar is visible, as easy as that. So once again, no admin bar for subscribers, but admin bar is visible for administrators and everything. This complex functionality was done without understanding code. Trust me, I don't understand code. I do. I won't mess with my WordPress files. Even if I had this exact code right here, I would definitely use this plugin. And that's what the benefit of using WP code is. Regardless of your skill level or expertise with WordPress, you can do a lot of things inside WordPress, which mostly is reserved for developers. And as I was showing you, there are tons of code snippets predefined and built in for you. You don't have, even have to go outside and find a code snippet and be scared about if this is actually an updated or up-to-date code snippet. Everything here is fully tested right here, built for you. And that's the power of WP code for you. Amazing plugin, amazing features, lot of different powerful, powerful features which you can utilize on your website to do tons of tasks, including hiding the administrator bar for uh, subscribers on your website. Now, if I piqued your interest about WP Code and maybe you're thinking to yourself, hey, I, be, I should maybe check out this plugin. It's a really awesome plugin. Then I would recommend you check out this video right here, which is a guided tour of the WP Code plugin. You understand everything about the plugin. And if you're interested in more easy to understand followed WordPress tutorials, then I would recommend subscribing to this channel and I'll catch you very soon in the next video.